Medical innovation, specifically medical innovation here in the United States, has been one reason why we've been able to prolong the lifespan of so many Americans. So how did, uh, how has American been able to become the, uh, fallen behind perhaps in this matter? There's a tax in, uh, folded into Obamacare and in a recent op-ed times in the Chester, or you said, I should say op-ed in the Chester County Times, Republican Congressman Ryan Costello talked about the importance of medical innovation, but also laments how it's being hindered. On the bright side, he has some ideas on how we can get past those issues and once again become the leader in medical innovation in the world. He joins us now. It's good to have you with us, Congressman. Be on the show. Thanks for having me. All right, so we talk about these uh, medical innovations, and one of the things that folks point to as a reason why things may have been on the slide for a little bit is this tax on medical devices. Is that one of the biggest hindrances to uh, inventions and, and innovation here in this country right now? It's one of them because uh, when you're talking about private capital and where to invest it, if you're going to get taxed uh, right out of the gate, um, it's a disincentive to um, invest in uh, medical research and do the, to do the R&D that a lot of companies uh, do in order to discover the cures that have proven to be uh, improved public health outcomes. And what we want to do is make sure that we continue uh, to invest and to innovate because in doing so, we see better public health outcomes. So the medical device tax is certainly one. The other area that's a big one is just the FDA regulatory approval process. It takes too long. It takes over 10 years uh, to go through all the clinical phases and ultimately get approval. And it's very costly. Over 10 years and over $1.2 billion is sort of the average estimate. And what we want to do is incentivize and streamline that approval process so we can get more uh, cures and drugs to market to help prevent illness and to help uh, abate the, um, the, the, the more damaging effects that certain illnesses have on, on our society. Uh, meantime, we also we see the FDA and there's sometimes inability to get their arms around some of these problems when drugs are already on the market or devices are already on the market. Does that just speak to the larger problem when you have these bureau uh, bureaucratic agencies trying to regulate uh, the medical field? I think that it does, and of course, I'm not. I, look, the FDA serves a very valuable purpose, but what I, what we want to do is make sure that we're streamlining things as best we can, so that we're not hindering innovation. And so, the the, the notion of 21st century cures and the policy aims of it are intended to streamline that process, are intended to provide a level of confidence that, as a government. We're not looking to get in the way of making of maintaining America's preeminence in the fields of medical innovation, uh, medical technology, biopharmaceutical industry, and the life sciences industry is extremely critical to our economy as well. And I think the more that we are uh, clearing the regulatory hurdles so that we can innovate and discover and get drugs to market better off we're going to be as a country. Yeah, we can all agree the FDA does serve a purpose, but is it really working in its current form? That's the question. Now, let's move on a little bit. I want to talk because you're on the Transportation Committee in the U.S. Congress. Uh, this highway trust fund is uh, on the minds of a lot of Americans. Where do you see things going uh, with the trust fund? There's been a short-term extension, but what happens if there's no more road for us to kick the can down anymore? That's, a, that's an excellent question. We need a long-term transportation bill. You're going to you see a two-month patch through the end of July. Uh, from everything that I can gather, you'll see another short-term patch till the end of the year. What's actually um, an impediment right now, one of the impediments, is that we're having to go, uh, the Ways and Means Committee, which is the Committee of Jurisdiction for um, finding a solution to the Highway Trust Fund revenue uh, problem, is that we're dealing with these trade issues. These trade yeah, agreements... Yeah, it does go all back to trade, Congressman. I hate to cut you off, but unfortunately, we're out of time, too. We have a short window here to get this interview done, but we'll love to have you back to carry on this conversation because we don't think that issue is going away, as you mentioned. Congressman Ryan Costello, thanks so much for being with us. Thank you.